All right, so we're going to be doing three different combinations of circuits. It's going to, it's going to consist of 30 second rounds. And each of the rounds are going, each of the exercises is going to be for 30 seconds each. We're going to have four exercises within the dose. So the pure activity is going to be four, it's going to be two minutes, but then we're going to have some different gaps in between. So the first two rounds, we're just going to have, the first round, we're definitely going to have a 15 second break between. So then I can explain the different exercises that we're going to do for the next round. And then every round after that, between the exercises, there's going to be no breaks. All right. And then between the sets or the, or the group of four exercises, between the second and third round, there'll be like a 15 second break. Well, a 30 second break. Between the third, the third going on to the fourth, there'll be a fifth, 15 second break. And then the fourth to fifth, there'll be no breaks, all gas. All right. So if you're ready, you can have your socks on for this. We're going to be doing some cardio, going from side to side, doing some shuffling and incorporating some different movements. If you have a medicine ball, you can definitely use this as we go through some of the different exercises. So if you don't have water, go ahead and get some. I'm about to. I'll get some water later on as we go through the, uh, as we do like the 30 second break in between rounds. All right, so if you're ready, we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna start off with some warm ups. Just go ahead and get our body flowing a little bit. I'm gonna play some Ryan Little, just because I enjoy him from YouTube. And we're gonna go ahead and get it going. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna start off just moving side to side. So you can move side to side. You can put some trunk twist with it. Just to go ahead and get started. Go ahead and loosen up. I'm going to get ready for a different exercise that we're gonna do. So a lot of the exercise is gonna have some twisting and shuffling. And we're gonna do pretty much each of the exercises are going to have similar exercises, but then there will be some differences within them. All right, from here, we're gonna do the arm circles. So arm straight out. It's gonna rotate in the circle. We're going to go 10 one way and then 10 another. So this should take about, mm, in reverse, embarrasso, as they like to say in Spanish. This should take about 45 seconds. And if you have an Apple Watch, go ahead and turn it on to mix cardio in reverse. So we're gonna go bigger. You can go faster if you start feeling the burn around your shoulders. Don't worry about it. And then just make sure that your hands are going around your shoulders. And embarazo, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, y auto. Stop, un clapo. That means one clap in Spanish. So, from here we're going to do some hamstring sweeps. So you're going to go ahead and have one foot in front of the other. And you're just going to come down and sweep. You're going to have a little bend in this leg. So it's going to come down and sweep. We're going to go for about 30 seconds on each leg. And you just keep on going as I get my timer going. So this is going to loosen up our hamstrings and our lower back. So if you were doing the abs and arms on Tuesday, you should have felt some tightness in your abs. So we're going to loosen up our lower back. And just breathe out as your hands go down and up and switch. And same thing. It's going to have a little bend and sweep. So I know sometimes we drop things on the ground and we don't want to pick it up because then we got to bend over 
Some people like to bend, go down with their back. But what's most important is that you use your knees. And then one of the critical elements is your hamstring flexibility. So then you'll be able to go down to a squat position and freeze. So anytime that you're going down for a squat, you always want to make sure that you are coming down using your knees. If you are picking something up, you come down right here and it's all legs and that back. So sometimes people like to bump. No, mm -mm. you're going to have some back injuries. Okay. So from here, we're just going to go from shuffle from side to side. We're just warming up. Boom, boom, boom. Just to go ahead and get nice and loose. And we're just going to do this for about 30 seconds. And then we're going to do some knee twist. So this is going to be like some standing crutches, crunches, or standing bicycles. And freeze right here. So from here, you're just going to boom, stand and crunch. Boom, stand and twist. So you're going to work on that transverse plane where you're crossing you know, from one side of your body to another. So you're going to have your elbow to knees. Boom, right here. You're going to do three more. One, two, and three. All right. We're going to take like a 20 second break and then get into the activities. I'm going to, during this time, go ahead and get some water. I'm going to get mine right now. Just so I start on the top, on my clock is going to be in 30, 15 seconds. The first exercise that we're going to do is the over and back. And over and back, you're just going over one side and back. We're going to begin in three, two, and one. So over and back. So boom, boom. You're just going to do a side shuffle from side to side. So you're just going to get your heart rate up. So you're going to go from low to a high. The lower your feet, the faster the shuffle. So you can just go from side to side. So boom, boom. I like to do four taps on both sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. 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 Push. Step, step, push. Step, step, push. Step, step, push. Step, step, push. So whatever the rhythm that you have and freeze. 15 second break. All right. So the next exercise that we're going to do is a shuffle wood chop. So you're going to shuffle, swing, then shuffle to the other side and swing. So two shuffles, one, two, boom, one, two, and boom. We're going to begin in three, two, one, shuffle, shuffle, swing, shuffle, shuffle, swing, shuffle, shuffle, swing, shuffle, shuffle, swing. So big. Shuffles if you can. So that side to side. Shuffle, shuffle, swing. So you're just getting your heart rate up, flowing and going. And time. All right, so 15 second break. The next exercise that we're going to do is a cross jack knee. So it's going to look like this cross, knee. Knee, cross, knee, knee, cross, knee, knee, and go ahead and jump in. Well, cross, knee, knee. So we're working on some coordination right now. Cross, knee, knee, cross, knee, knee, cross, knee, knee, cross. To the beat, cross to the beat, boom, boom, and boom, cross knee to knee, cross 
knee, the knee, and time. 15 second break. And the next one, we're going to do a plyo side to side. So we're just going to explode to the side, explode to the side, and we're going in three, two, and now. So side squat with a jump. Pilo is a pilometric. So it's an explosive exercise that you're doing. You're just gonna come up as high as you can. Click your heels. Kind of like your Cinderella. Whew. So this is gonna be the higher intensity and time. All right. So we're gonna do a 30 second break. You need some water, get some water. And we're gonna do these for five rounds. All right, so five rounds in each of the exercises. We got 15 seconds before we go again. All right. So we're gonna begin with the over and backs in three, two, and one. So from side to side, boom, 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 push, push, one, two, push, one, two, push, push, from side to side. From side to side, from side to side. So this is the second round, going 30 seconds. So just over and back. And time. All right, from here, we're doing the shuffle wood, ch wood chops. So I go from side, shuffle, shuffle, swing, shuffle, shuffle, swing, shuffle, shuffle, swing, shuffle, shuffle, and swing, shuffle, shuffle, swing, shuffle, shuffle, and swing. The next one we're gonna have is a cross jack knee, boom. You're gonna begin the cross jack knee. Three, two, and one. So, cross jack, knee to the knee. Cross jack, knee, 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 knee. Open cross, knee. Here we go. Next is going to be the pilo shuffle. You're going to begin in three, two, and one. So from side to side, boom, just going to jump from side to side. And we went a little bit overboard in the last one, but it's all right. For this round, we're going to go for 34 seconds. If you see a mistake, guess what? You can still work. Clean up the mistakes later. During the 15 second break period that we have. We got three, two, and one, and stop. So 15 second break. I'm gonna go ahead and take off my socks so I can get some better traction. All right, so my heart rate up is up to like 108 right now. And then this round, I'm gonna demonstrate some variations that you can do. All right, so we're gonna begin with the over and backs in three, two, and one. So just from side to side, boom. It's gonna go over and back, over and back. Just going over. Keeping that heart rate up. So right now my heart rate is up at 116. Just keep that same energy. From side to side. And then freeze. Next you're gonna have the shuffle, wood chop. Let's go ahead and begin. Boom. So the variation with this, you can just step, step. Swing, step, step, swing, all right? Or you can hop with it. So two shuffles and a swing. And when you swing, 
you're just gonna get your obliques into it. So you get into that twisting motion. I need to get this out the way. Boom. Got five, four, three, two. Then we're gonna move into those cross jacks. So cross jacks, knee, knee. Cross jack, knee, knee. Cross jack, knee, knee. Cross jack, knee, knee. Good job. Knee, and we got 10 seconds. Before we go into those power roll jumps, we're gonna have a 15 second break before we go into the fourth round and freeze or just finish it off. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and move this away. And I'm gonna show you what you can do if you have a medicine ball. So you have a medicine ball, you can go ahead and pick it up or just a heavy object, it can be a jug. You're gonna begin in three, two, and one. So over and back. So you're just doing a shuffle. From side to side. So this medicine ball is 11 pounds. Just going to increase the weight. We're just going to increase the amount of calories that I burn. So it's kind of like a weighted vest. Then we're gonna switch over to those shuffles, chop, wood chops, and three, two, and one, and let's go. Shuffle, shuffle, swing, shuffle, shuffle, swing, shuffle, shuffle, swing. So this is like, kind of like playing rugby. You do a side shuffle, and then you do a lateral pass. So from side to side, boom. Side to side, boom. Next up, we got those cross, cr cross jack knees. So let's go ahead and begin. Boom, boom. Cross jack, knee, and knee. Cross jack, knee, and knee. A modification that you can do is just step out, step in, cross, cross. Step out, step in, cross. Cross. Either one works. And freeze. This we got those pyro jumps, pilo jumps, lunges. So he's gonna go. If you have a medicine ball or something heavy, just incorporate it. Side to side. And of course the modification. You can just side lunge. Boom. Side lunge, boom, and time. All right, now no break. We're gonna go ahead and move to those over and backs. So this is the fifth round, no breaks, all gas. So we're just gonna keep that heart rate up, now let it drop even a little bit. So it's working on footwork, crossing over from side to side. And th so we're gonna switch in three, two, one. And we're gonna shuffle and throw. Shuffle and wood chop. Boom. Shuffle and wood chop. Boom, boom. Bam. Boom, boom. Bam. Shuffle, shuffle. Bam. Shuffle, shuffle. Bam. Shuffle, shuffle. Boom. We're gonna switch over to those crisscross jacks. And begin. Cross, cross, knee, knee. Cross, cross, knee, and knee. Cross, jack, knee, and knee. Cross, jack, knee, and knee. And last round, so those pilo jumps, and let's go. From side to side, take the break if you need the break, but then come back in, just keep on going. Now remember, the more that you feel it, the more calories that you are burning, 
And the more calories that you're burning, the better. And stop. Whew. So we're gonna take a minute break. If you have some water, definitely go ahead and get some water. While we are taking this minute break, I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate the next exercises. So, next up, you're gonna have, actually the, we're gonna call it, so I mistakenly did, I called the front and back to side to side. So we're gonna do the front and back. So over and back, that's gonna be the first exercise. The second one is gonna be the side slams actually wood chops. So we're just going to throw from up to down, up to down. And we're gonna go in and start with the side to sides in three, two, one, or actually forward and backs. Let's go in and begin. So forward and back, just forward and back, boom. So you can just imagine that there's a line and you just wanna step over and step back, step over, step back. So one, two and push forward and back you can put your arms into it get a nice little rhythm it's going for 30 seconds we're going to stop in three two and one all right the next is going to be the wood chops so you're going to go up slam it down go up slam it down it's very important to bend at your knees okay we're going to begin in three two and one so throw it down and up, throw it down, deep squat, throw it down, deep squat. Just gonna keep on going. So this is gonna work your lumbar spine, your erector spinae, your abs, your glutes, obliques, your abs, basically all of your core muscles. We get, we went in overtime. So you're gonna freeze right there. So the next exercise that we're gonna do are the jumping jack crunch. So we're going to jumping jack, crunch, and crunch. Jumping jack, crunch, and crunch. All right, we're gonna begin in three, two, and one. So jumping jack, boom, crunch, and crunch. Jumping jack, crunch, and crunch jumping jack crunch and crunch a modification boom 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 and bam all right so boom boom you can even do this whichever or it doesn't matter and time just so we can get back on time so the fourth and final exercise that we're going to do is a plie squat so what you'll do you could your going to do a side lunge and have that back foot cross over boom right here and if you want to make it a pilometric you'll jump up all right so you're the or you're going to begin in three two one so the plyo plie squat and come back down boom or just stay right here you're the or so again boom and boom. Now so jump. Depends on you. All right. I'm gonna stop in three, two, and one. And time. All right. So those are those four exercises. I'm gonna take a 30 second break before we go into the side to side. I'm gonna go ahead and have the medicine ball in my hands and go from there. I'm gonna go ahead and switch these music up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna get started. Let's go ahead and get started. And now, so we're going over and back, forward and back. We're going for 30 seconds. No breaks in between. And the next exercise they're gonna have is the jumping jack 
side crunch. We're going to begin in three, two, and one. So if you have a ball, you can do a jumping jack, crunch, and crunch. Jumping jack, crunch, and crunch. Just have that leg go out to the side and crunch out to the side. Boom and bam. Boom. I don't know why I did a cross jack, but we're not going to worry about that. So boom. And time. All right, next up, we have the wood chops. So we have a ball, we're going to throw it down. And catch. The harder you throw, the higher it comes up. The more force, the more velocity. the more that you're engaging your muscles. Then we're gonna switch over to the Palo plies in three. And now, so, boom, you can jump. So if you noticed, the first exercise correlates with the first exercise in the first set, and it's gonna be the same way in the third set. Get your balance, then pop up, then last one, and top. All right, we're gonna take a 30 second break just so I can explain the movements between the first two, between the first exercises. So the first exercise was a shuffle. One was going sideways, the other one was going forward and backwards. The second exercise was a form of a jumping jack. We had a cross jack with the knees. Second one, we had a jumping jack with a side crunch. The third exercise was a form of a wood chop. We had the side shuffle, chopping sideways. And then the other one, you had the wood chop going, instead of horizontally, going vertically. Both of them still incorporate the same muscle groups, just in different ways. Sometimes you are, it's best to work your muscles in different angles so then you get the most sustainable growth out of them. Because in life, you never know what's going to come your way, so you always have to be prepared. All right, and then the fourth exercise that we had was a Palo lunge variation. So in the first one, we had the side lunge Palo, Palo. and another one was a Plyo Plie squat. All right where you jumped up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get to the third round. We're gonna start off with the side to side, over and backs. If you're ready, you can begin. Let's go ahead and go now. Since I'm at 24 even. So there's over and back. Now this is the third round. In the next round, we're gonna have a 15 second break. All right, next up, we're gonna have those jumping jack side crunches. If your feet can go faster, let them go faster. We're gonna switch it up in three, two, and one. Jumping jack, side crunch. Jumping jack, side crunch. Jumping jack, side crunch. If you're swearing like me, when you're doing these jumping jacks, you got some sweat coming into your eyes from your elbows in your hands, but it's all right. You know, it'll be fun if you can hear the sweat crying as you're working out. All right, next up, we're gonna have those wood chops. It's gonna get in position. So, boom, throw it down, squat, pick it up. Really put your arms into it, because that's gonna put your abs into it. Reminds me of Players Club. I'm gonna go for 30 seconds. So right now, my heart rate is at 141. If you are losing my balance, like me, you don't have to go as low. You can just go right here. 
as long as you get that crossover. <sighs> gonna stop. And actually, nope, we're gonna keep on going because we have no breaks. We're about to go to those forward and backs. Let's go. Forward and backs. I'm gonna do a variation to where you can go forward and back like this. This is actually what we're gonna do in the next round. So just going to get those rapes in. Then you can switch it up. Boom, right here. So high intensity, lower intensity. We're going to switch it up to those jumping jack side bends. And here we go. Boom, boom. And that side bends beside crunch. Crunch. Boom, boom, boom. Got 10 seconds. Then we're gonna move to those wood choppers. And let's go. So throw it down, back up, down, back up. Now the next is gonna be the plyo plies. Try and say that 10 times quick. Plyo plies, plyo plies, plyo plies, plyo plies, plyo plies, plyo plies. I'm gonna do those plow plays in three, two, and one. So cross over and jump up. And the next one, we're gonna do a reverse lunge with a jump. So instead of our feet crossing across the middle of our body, it's gonna cross the sides of our bodies. Oh, I'm stuck right here. If you can do two more, go ahead and get two more in. And time. So as you see, my lavender is turning to purple. My blue is still a bluish hue. So you're gonna let that sweat talk for itself. I'm gonna do a minute break. Before we get into the next round of exercises, I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick demonstration of all the exercises. So the first round, scissor jumps. I need a towel, so I got too much sweat in my eyes. Next, you're gonna have a side slam. So you're gonna imagine you have a ball, throwing it sideways. That's gonna be the seal jacks. So boom, so no cross. Just boom right here, crunch, crunch. And in the fourth round, we're going to do a reverse lunge and skip, reverse lunge and skip. All right. We're gonna begin in three, two, and one. So from side to side for 30 seconds. Now remember, we still got 15 second breaks between for a demonstration if need be. But I've just demonstrated all of them. So we're just gonna rock and roll. So this is the third and final circuit. We are 66% done. So that means 66% one. So this is the push round to where you get to actualize what you visualize and freeze. All right, it's really up there. All right, next we got those side slams. So you're going to do a deep squat. Boom, throw it down from side to side. And begin. Boom, side to side. Boom, side to side. If you have a medicine ball, you will be throwing it down right now. I will be showing you that modification in the next round. Otherwise, you can just go from here and go from side to side. So this is the modification and freeze. All right, next round, we're going to be doing the seal and cross. You're going to begin in three, two, and one. So seal, cross, seal, and cross. So when your hands go back out, you'll cross. 
Keep going. Boom. Three, two, and stop right there. All right, next up, you got those reverse lunge, skips. So just like this, boom, and bam. We're gonna begin right now. So jump up as high as you can during the exercise. Just allow that knee to barely touch the ground. So have that control as you come down, and then pop back up. You're gonna stop in three, two, and one. Good job. Remember 30 second break. Next round is gonna be 15. The next round, another 15 seconds. If you have water, go on and get that water. Remember the first exercise, I'm gonna be the old scissor. They're really called scissor jacks. And we'll go from there. We're gonna begin in three, two, let's go. I'm gonna go and get this medicine ball. So this is gonna be my medicine ball round. Got 20 seconds. From side to side. You wanna keep going? Unless you got those seal jacks and knee lifts. You're gonna switch it over in three, two, and one. Seal jacks. Side crunch. Boom, boom, legs out. Cry. Boom, 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 legs out. Boom, boom. So when your hands are out or feet are out, that's when you're gonna cross back over. So out here, cross, cross. So this is that motivation round. This is that money round. You're gonna stop in three, two, and one. Now you're gonna go from side to side slams. Here we go. So throw it down from side to side. By this time, your hands are sweaty like eight mile. Palms are sweaty. Knees weak. Eating mom spaghetti. Something like that. He throws it down, but nothing comes out. I don't know. I forgot the words. Do watch this song again. We're gonna stop right there. Whew. And next we got the reverse lunge skips. So step back and skip. All right there. I'm feeling it right now. I'm gonna keep on going because this is where the real sweat, the real calories are gonna pour on in. I like to call this the double bonus round. So when your legs get weak, I let the gaskets building up. This ain't time to slow down. It's time to keep on going. It's gonna build your endurance muscle, your per perseverance muscle, and stop. All right, we're gonna take a 15 second break and go from there. All right, so IG, appreciate y'all for tapping in. Never tapping out. I will definitely see you all on the next time, but you can always go into the link in my bio to be able to get full access. And we also have access to the replays as well, which I'll send in the link. So check out the fifth community, in my bio, tap in. Never tap out. Get on Michael Q, LAU. The list of transformation coach will help you to be able to feed the fit, fight the fat, so then you can become triumphant in your journey and the infinite fit of being fit. Till next time, I'll see you later. All right, so about to move into the third round. Let 
Thankfully, you got an extended break. All right, so we want to begin with the jump and shuffle. You're going to go sideways. If you have a ball, get a ball. And begin in three, two, and one. Let's go. So shove yourself side to side. Boom, right here. So you can do it with a ball. And always do it without the ball. Either or. Next up, you're going to have those throw downs. So hit the ball side to side. From side to side. Side to side. So, or without the ball, from side to side. All right, next up, we're gonna switch it up to those seal jack side crunch or knee lifts. Here we go. Boom, boom. Crunch and crunch. Boom, boom. Crunch and crunch. Boom, boom. Crunch and crunch. If you have a ball, it will just look like this. Boom, boom. Crunch and crunch. Boom, boom. Crunch and crunch. All right, next up, we got those reverse lunges. Reverse pile lunges. So it look like that. And again, if you have a ball or a water jug, anything he heavy, I would say a baby, but don't do that. You got three, two, and one, and time. All right. So we're gonna do a 15 second break. Get back into it. Remember the first round is gonna be those shuffles. We're going to begin and actually you got a 30 second break not gonna lie so between the fourth fifth round all gas no breaks let's go side shuffle i mean scissor jacks you can even put your arms into it just a little variation if you want to be playful with it you can just go around in a circle because sometimes I just get bored doing the same old, same old. All right, next up, we're gonna have those seal jack, high knees, and stop. Here we go. So, just messing up. All right, so seal jacks, cross and cross. Seal jack, cross and cross. So, we're gonna keep that same energy. Keep that same energy. You got two more. We're gonna come to a stop. I'm going all over the place. But we're not gonna worry about it. All right, next up, we have those side slams. I'm actually out of order. But we're not gonna worry about it. As long as we do all of the different activities, we're going to be good to go. So from side to side, from side to side, boom, and bam. Keep going, keep flowing. All right, next up, we got those reverse lunges. We'll apply, apply your jump. So apply your reverse lunge. Just gonna keep that same energy. Just keep going. And if not, come up as high as you can. Or you can just do a reverse lunge, staying low. No jump needed. And boom. Are right, you gonna go back to the first round where you're going to be doing the shuffle or the scissor jacks? Going from side to side. <sighs> Here 
All right, we got about 10 seconds. And then we're gonna move to those side slams. Let's go. Boom. Side slam. From side to side. Side to side. Good job. Halfway there. Remember, this is the fifth round, so give it all you get. Ready to throw it down, come back up. Boom. Throw it down. Come back up. And time. Now we got those reverse lunge plies. Those plies. Reverse lunge. So jump. Or you can just stay grounded. Just have your knee to barely touch the ground. Then come back up. Otherwise, you can just jump back up. Got seven seconds. Whew. Last one. And time. Whew. All right. Good job, everybody. We have made it through. I will burn 546 total calories, actually 471 active calories. That's from the cardio alone at 40. Two minutes. So right here, the same way that we began, we're going to end, and that's with the stretches, okay? So I'm gonna do a cool down at this time. So as we start off, we're just gonna go step from side to side. So the same way that we cool warm up is the same way that we can cool down as well. And then you can always add some trunk twist it with it. Just gonna cross that foot in front. From here, we're gonna do our arm circles. We're gonna do 10 with four different variations. So we're gonna stop right here, arms out. And make sure that your hands are going around your shoulders. And inverso, reverse, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, inverso, más grande y rápido, bigger and faster. It is good to be somewhat bilingual. Seven, eight, nine, ten, inverso, diez, nueve, Ocho, siete, seis, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno, in pesa, un clapo. All right, so now we're gonna do, we're gonna do some side bends real quick, just to stretch out our obliques. So all of these movements that we're doing, as we did all the movements standing up, we're going to continue that same energy standing up. So we're just going to stretch our obliques just imagine that you have a heavy object on the side that you're going on and just bend as far down as you can. Now we're going to do some cross. I don't even know what to call it. I'm just going to call it the standing bicycles. So boom right here. Just add a little twist variation with it. As we did those jumping jacks. That Accelerated our heart rate, we brought it up. Now we're just going to do those knee lifts only to lower it. All right, I'm gonna stop right here. All right, from here, we're gonna do those hamstring sweeps. Got a lot of sweat, excuse me, got a lot of sweat in my eyes. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna Go into like a reverse lunge position. Bend that front knee. So you're gonna exhale as we go down. Then bring it up. We're gonna do it 15 seconds on each side. So really just sweep. And if you notice, I'm putting the weight on my heel. Then I'm pushing it to my toes. And switch. So 
So you're just gonna push that energy down, then bring it up. Last one, and time. All right, from here, we're going to do a couple of standing stretches. And the active calories are still going up. So legs spread far apart. We want to spread, we'll stretch the inner part of our thighs. These muscles are called the adductors, A, D, D, U, C, T, O, R, S. These are the muscles that are responsible for your legs closing. So every time that we're doing those, those knee lifts, as we're crossing the trans part, trans, uh, transverse plane, and that's the middle, that's the split in the middle of us, of our body, we're using our adductor muscles in order to close that. And we're gonna switch. So go ahead and relax your head. Imagine that your top of the head is touching the ground. If you have a rag, I definitely you recommend you using that. Go ahead and make that switch to your other leg. Not only are we stretching our adductors, but mostly it's going to come stretch our hamstrings as well. As we were doing those many variations of lunges, we're incorporating our hamstrings into it most notably, and then stretch to the middle. As we were doing those reverse lunges, we were activating our hamstrings more so than any of the other squat variations. Again, relax your head. If you have sweat going up your eyes, do not worry about it. Let's go ahead and pinch it out. From here, if you can put your hands onto the ground, put your hands onto the ground, and then you can just, I forgot what this is called. You can do the Pac-Man, your feet together. If you can keep your hands to the ground, please do so. I'm gonna turn sideways so you see what this looks like. And you're going to reverse and come up, vertebrae by vertebrae. So starting with your lower back, and you're just going to keep your back nice and rounded. Going from vertebrae, from vertebrae, as you come up, keeping those shoulders in front of you. As your head comes up, round your shoulders back and roll your shoulders. All right. So those are just some stretches that you can do. And then I'm going to demonstrate two more that you can do while you're standing. Since you're all about the wall, you can hold onto the wall and do this stretch. But I will demonstrate what it looks like by turning this way. So you can hold onto the wall for balance. With your opposite hand, you're going to grab your opposite foot. And there's going to be a quad stretch to stretch the front part of your thigh between your knees and your hips. And then what you can do to increase that stretch is just by pulling your shoulders back. And then you wanna drive your hip forward. That's gonna increase more of a strain right here. So boom, I'm gonna go right there. And then we're gonna drop it down to the ground so this knee to the ground. So we're gonna stretch it one more time. We're gonna pull our hip forward. Drop that toe to the ground so your toenails are on the ground. And you're gonna pull those hips forward. Again, this is going to get your hip flexor as well as your quads as well. And I love, we're gonna do three stretches since we're already down here. So boom, as far as you can go. Then now you're gonna bring it back. Now we're gonna stretch our hamstring. So you're gonna straighten this leg, nice and straight. Bring our hands up to the ground. Drop our neck. And 
And now just have your not your spine be neutral or straight. And then just pivot forward as much as you can. And then now you can round your back. Relaxing your neck. When you come out, you're going to bend your knee right here. And then you can go ahead and slide on back and stand up. What we did to one side, we're going to do to the other. So we did the right leg. I did the right leg. Now we're going to switch it over to the left leg. So boom, another way that you can do it, you can hold it right here. So same hand, same leg, or just have that opposite leg, hold on to it for their life. Remember, you can always hold on to the wall. So there is no right or wrong way. You just want to do it your way. So deep breaths in and out. Again, you can Pull, drive those hips forward. Pull those shoulders back to deepen the stretch. From here, we're going to release. Have this knee go to the ground. So the same leg goes to the ground, to the knee. The same knee leg that same leg's knee goes to the ground. And the next knee comes up, just gonna lean forward. Boom, right here. Drive your hips forward. And what I mean by that, you're just going to move it to go forward. Boom, right here. And then now you can pull those shoulders back to put more of an arch in your shoulders. Deep breath in and out, right there. And you can release coming out of it, going backwards. Now we're going to stretch the hamstring to this leg. So leg straight, hands onto the ground. Right now you can round your back before we straighten it. All right, then take a deep breath in, straighten your back. And you may realize that one side is not as flexible as the other side. And then exhale, bring your hands to the ground and round your back. You want to take one breath right here. Exhale. All right. On your next exhale, you're going to plant your foot and lean forward. So plant your foot while you lean forward and slide back out of it. All right. So you should feel nice and loosey goosey. And we are going to end with a gratitude to change our attitude. All right, so we're going to do cycle breathing where we are going to do three seconds in and three seconds out. All right, so. All right, and we're gonna do three breaths in, three breaths out, and let's begin. And you can go on your own. Now that we have done those three breaths, 
and you just think of a gratitude and then whenever you are ready you may share your gratitude as well so let me think of something that i'm grateful for Yep. That's definitely good. It said the le the blessings are in the lessons. And one thing that I'm learning is after the L comes the L. <laughs> so everything that you're going through is all worthwhile. And I am off center. All right. So something that I am grateful for are boxes and the reason why i'm grateful for boxes is because you can use them in a lot of different ways you just have to be open-minded enough and have an imagination to be able to use them in a myriad of ways so that is something that i'm thankful for all right uh just you know, like uh, like Amazon boxes, like those boxes that they come in. Cause, okay. like, I use them any kind of way. Don't give me an idea. <laughs> so moving boxes, like any anything really. Like, I have like a box of pins, and I just cut off like the tops of them, and now I just put them here put them inside the drawer and now it's, it's better organized so i was just looking around i was like man that's yeah i'm thankful for boxes they help me out all right so how the uh cardio feel okay yeah I, I know i'm gonna sleep good after this i'm definitely gonna take a shower in I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna go to a steam room this weekend. It's been a while. All right. So. All right. So next Saturday, I'm gonna do the uh, like the program your workout. It's gonna be like a Saturday show and tell. So I'll be sending some information about that. So then you can better sequence your workout routine, so you can see like kind of how to do things together. Because if you notice, I always, for me, I always put things in patterns of fours for like the uh, circuits that we're doing. And that helps me like mentally to already know like, okay, the first one is this. I know the second one is going to be some, some variation. And then in the gym, I know if I'm working one muscle group, as long as I know what the second exercise is while I'm thinking about the second one, I can go ahead and come up with the third one just in case but usually my workouts pretty much already laid out in sequence exactly how it needs to be sequenced so i'll just do a deep dive into that so then it can be able to be of benefit to any and everybody and especially you okay, all right, all right. so uh do you have any lingering questions or anything like that no i don't okay all right well until next time i will see you then and thank you for tapping in Never tapping out, showing up for yourself and your family. All right. All right. Peace and blessings for infinite blessings. All right. So thank y'all for tapping in. Never tapping out, showing up for yourself because in this journey to fit, you never stops, it never quits. You have to show up for yourself. And when you can't show up for yourself, show up for somebody else. And then just let your motivation be that creation that's going to put you to the next stage of your elevation. Bars. All right. But until next time, I'll see y'all later. Again, I'm Michael Q, LAU. This is the fifth community. And as always, tap in. Never tap out. You may slow down, but don't stop. And I'll see y'all on the next time. And until then, stay for infinitely blessed. <laughs>